Hey, want to hear a story? Yeah. Which one? The Great Summoning. What few people know today is that Kunus Nuku had already been banished by the time the Great Summoning happened. The Shandling had begun months prior, back when the lizard folk still had the upper hand. It was toward the end of the decades-long battle after it became clear that the Mole King mages would be the victors. On this night of nights, the air carried early cries of victory across the archipelago. Suddenly, the very sky tore open and a giant sky serpent emerged to wreak havoc. To this day, historians argue about the origins of the Sky Serpent. Some say it is a monster of pure evil, stolen from another plane of existence and forced to remain here. Others believe it came from above the clouds, a once friendly creature that had its mind corrupted by dark magic. But regardless of its origins, the Sky Serpent was set to change the world forever. Back in the time of the Ovates, the ritual of the elements could have been performed to control the Sky Serpent's mind. But alas, the Ovates were long gone. Earth magic being their only strength at hand, the Mole King Elementalists devised a plan to contain the threat. But carving intricate wind tunnels straight into the Ixtol's mountain, they turned it into a giant musical instrument. Blowing through the mountain, the wind started playing a melody so pure which forced the Sky Serpent into slumber. The magic was strong, and it was believed that the world would remain safe for generations. Or rather, for as long as the mountain played the melody true. For the greater good, the Mole King gave up on their study of magic and established an outpost atop the mountain. Over generations, they became expert miners, living by a pledge to keep the wind tunnels operational. The brave Mulkin have toiled around the clock ever since, protecting the world one pickaxe strike at a time. Despite centuries of stability, stories say that the magic enchantment of the wind tunnels will eventually fade away. One can only hope that the Ovates will return before then. The end. After that storytelling session, it's time to say welcome back to my very first ongoing Let's Play of Sea of Stars. We have reached part 10 and we will push on, but we have some cleaning up to do here in the Stonemason's Outpost. But before we do that, I just want to say that if you are enjoying yourself, I would be so glad if you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Those of you who did, thank you very much. And for the rest of you, please feel to stick around for some more adventuring. And as usual, I will not be doing any general chit-chatting during gameplay, but I will be reading dialogue and information. All the good stuff. Mine's key.
Bang One Trader's Signet. Might be of interest to a certain merchant. Thank you again, I like you. You're the solstice warriors who helped us. Now that I have my tools back, I can remove the rock that was blocking the road to the fishing lake. Hold on, it won't take long. It's not clear. I hope this is of some help to you. Thanks again. Found one rainbow conch.
Bound one recipe mushroom soup. Mountains are nice. It's still alive. So glad to be done with this ordeal. Can't wait to craft teal amber bubbles again. Thanks for the help. I really want to take a bath. The pump is in there, probably just needs to be restarted. Would you mind going? I'll see what I can do. Malcolm took hide and seek a little too seriously, if you ask me. It's good to be back in business. Servicing the wind tunnels is demanding, but teal amber is very valuable. My brother finally finished a painting. I can't believe it. This is my favorite spot. Where to play? I like it because the view is pretty. Oh, thank you! I can finally get some sleep. You did it! Thanks, I really needed that. Here for your troubles. Found one rainbow conch. Is it true you thought Malcolm's pet was a monster? Haha! <laughs> Things are finally back to normal. I'm just glad my kids are safe. This is the best fort we've built so far. I really like it. Look, I made a fort like Malcolm. Hope you enjoy your time in a little out. Make sure you sleep at the inn if you haven't. Your terminal rooms are something else. I will show the world that us mullikins can do more than teal, teal amber carving. Just wait. My best work so far, but I must keep improving. I 
Round one, rainbow card. And if there's a tavern there, and if there's a tavern, there will be a chef. So maybe I can learn a special recipe or something. Whoa. Carl, check it out. No way! You've been wanting to see the sleeper since you were a kid. How does it feel? Like all my summer days are happening at the same time. <laughs> Adventure life is the best life. We're almost there. Get ready for a swim. Coral Cascades. Looking for a boat? Head over to the port town of Brisk and meet Captain Cliches. Cliches. Found one pirate guard. Team of the Love, spawn some moon around 25 times in a row.
one one rainbow conch. Found fifty gold.
Boat ship, boat ship, boat ship, boat ship. Risk. Two obsidian ore. One moon cradle fish pie. You can't carry more meals. This might just be a good place to end of this part. See you in the next. Thank you for watching my exploration video in my Let's Play of Sea of Stars. I hope you had as much fun as I did. If you did, I would love to hit those like and subscribe buttons. I would also love it if I saw you again in the next part. But for now, it's time to say bye bye. <laughs>